as a teacher, we often need a countdown timer. You can use a kitchen timer or you can just do a new tab in a Google search and type in three minute timer or seven minute timer and it'll just start a timer right in Google. And that's really handy and fast, but what if you wanna customize it? What if you wanna put your Bitmoji on it? Well, that's where a Google Slides timer can come in handy and it's great for in-person or remote through video. So notice I have a template. You're gonna to need to get a copy of this and go to the add-ons menu, create timer, after authorizing the add-on, you'll choose Create Timer and put how many minutes that you want. Now it does take a few seconds for it to do all the math for it to calculate how many slides it needs per second. So notice that I have a slide for each second for all five minutes. And if I scroll all the way down, goes all the way to zero. So then what you're gonna to wanna to do is do file and publish to the web, file, publish to the web, and it says every three seconds. Well, we need this to advance every one second so that this will create a timer. So every second, and check the first checkbox for start slideshow as soon as the player loads. Click publish. And you're going to copy this link, control T, control V, and this link's going to create a countdown timer. And it's going to do it for exactly the amount of minutes that you had selected. So how do you customize it? Well, one of the things you can do is while you're on the countdown slide is go to the view menu and choose master. From there, I'm going to add my Bitmoji. a little smaller and you'll notice that all the slides now have my bitmoji on it and when I come over here you'll notice there's no bitmoji that's just because I need to refresh and once I refresh you can see that now my bitmoji is part of the slides then if you want to you could even add some warnings come up here to 30 and I'm just gonna go ahead and delete the 30 and say 30 second warning. And I'm going to make it a lot bigger. And I'm going to change the font. I'm going to make it red. And then one of my favorite things to use is under format options is a drop shadow, because why not? I'm going to make this even bigger. Now I want it to be on the screen for more than one second. So currently it would only show for one second. So if I grab the text box and I copy it, then on the next one, I go ahead and I delete, and then I delete this one. Now for three seconds, it will show that there is a 30 second warning and pick up the timing where I left off. Let's come over and refresh. I'm gonna need to jump ahead here. So 30 second warning, and it will only last for three seconds there because I have it for three slides. So you can customize it any way you want and so long as you went to the file menu, publish to the web, and you set it for every second and to start as soon as it loads, you can then bookmark, click the star, so you can have that timer ready to go anytime you want.